They're so small and tiny, you can't even see it besides... Smith Campbell, the fashion designer and founder for the fashion design brand, Max Smith, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am super excited because I am going to be talking about the world's smallest handbag. So this handbag was created by the brand Mischief, and we all have seen this brand reappear with some pretty controversial items in the past, such as the infamous Astro Boy Red Boot. And for this brand, they created a bag so small, it is smaller than a grain of rice and can be seen through a microscope. That's crazy. This bag is called the Microscopic Handbag and it is made out of photopolymer resin. It is measured by 657 by 222 by 700 micrometers. And if you guys were to compare it to an item, it would be compared to a speck of dust, a grain of salt, a grain of sand. It's so small and tiny. It can only be seen underneath a microscope. Yeah, crazy. So this mini bag is actually a model of Louis Vuitton's monogram on the go handbag. However, it's been reported that they didn't get the special permission from Louis Vuitton to use their monogram onto this mini bag. So it's not exactly a collaboration. For any of those who might be interested, you can actually own this tiny signature bag. It will first be displayed in a sealed gel case and mounted underneath a microscope for the viewing to the public at the 8th Avenue Magneton Art Gallery in Paris from June 20th to June 24th. It will then make its way to an auction hosted by the new creative director for the men's Louis Vuitton position, Pharrell Williams. He is set to have an auction at his auction house, Jupiter, on June 19th to June 27th. As of now, there is not exactly an auction bid pricing out there, so no one really knows how much the bag is going to cost or be worth. And we won't know until the auction comes about. For me, in my opinion, I do feel like a lot of brands, I'm seeing this trend too, a lot of brands are starting to create more collectible art pieces, more so than functional pieces, and I do think a lot of the time it does create a controversial uproar and it gets everybody talking. I do think brands also do it to get everybody talking and create controversy throughout the fashion world and just in general. It really does go to show you the extreme lengths that people will go to wear or collect certain pieces and I'm really curious to see the outcome of these pieces and the price especially. I'm really waiting for these auctions. I really want to know what these brags are going to be auctioned off for. I also read that while Miss Chef, the brand, was also looking into sampling these bags, some of these bag samples have got lost along the way because of their really small microscopic size. So it's gonna be really interesting. Um, I think, honestly, if somebody were to invest in this, I feel like they were just to invest because it's the world's smallest bag. Hopefully, in terms of maintenance and keeping it, they can probably place it in, like, a little plaque or something I don't even know how you I don't even know how people who are to buy this bag or I want to I don't even want to call it a bag you guys because to me it's just so tiny and I don't even know what you would be able to do with it or even show it off unless you put it on some kind of plaque or you mount it or you place it in more like a resin glass little magnet case so it's gonna be really interesting that actually be a really cool idea actually now i'm thinking about it if you do have the money to buy it at the auctions to place it in like a magnet and just like display it somewhere really cool or create a keychain out of it it's really microscopic so you wouldn't really be able to see it but it's really gonna be interesting you guys i'm super excited for the viewing of it let me know what you guys think in the comments below do you guys find the brand just using this to create controversy or do you think that they could be using this to create a an art expression that people are willing to go the lengths to buy anything that is trend that is hip 
that is the hot topic let me know what you guys think below i feel like it's a little bit of both honestly for me i think it's kind of like an experiment to show you the length that people will go to to purchase the hottest item and i also think that they use this to get people talking about their brand so i think it's a really smart idea in that way but let me know what you guys think below in the comments and thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up as well Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.